The clinical evidence on this has been mixed. So um, classical myocarditis that comes from, you know, viral syndromes uh, usually has a young kind of male predominant uh, patient population. Uh, that is not what we have been seeing with um, ICI myocarditis. Uh, there has been some great clinical studies and um, also some follow-up, you know, even basic science translational studies that have uh, suggested a more female predominance um, in this type of myocarditis. I think uh, the jury is still out and there's still a lot of um, data coming out in this area. So we don't know in terms of the gender bias. Um, the other thing is uh, patients who have classical cardiac risk factors that hasn't actually panned out so much in terms of uh, being 100% predictive of myocarditis. So uh, but we do know that patients who have classical cardiac risk factors um, will have less cardiac reserve to be able to tolerate the, the autoimmunity. And so we are still um, extra careful with patients who uh, have pre-existing coronary artery disease, pre-existing heart failure, or other kinds of pre-existing cardiac comorbidities, uh, because we do know that those patients if they do get myocarditis, uh, they may do worse compared to patients who are going into it with higher cardiac reserve. Um, but we don't think that those, uh, you know, at least the, the evidence hasn't panned out that uh, just because you have those pre-existing cardiac comorbidities, that you are going to be more likely to develop the autoimmunity. And then in terms of other risk factors, I think that's the whole goal of our study. So, um, you know, we'll see over the next couple of years what we find.